Hello everyone, my name is Muhammad Afifuddin. In this video, we are going to design one way slab, and in this video, we will design a simply supported slab. So, here is the problem statement a simply supported slab of a corridor of a hospital building has a clear span 2.5 meter and it is supported on beam 230 mm width. Design the slab. If the beam is carrying a live load of 5 kN per meter square, also check for shear, deflection and development length. Use M20 concrete and HYSD FE415 bars. Okay, so this is the problem statement. In this problem, it is directly given as the slab is simply supported slab and the slab of corridor corridor is given therefore we will consider the slab is as a one way slab so here is the given data corridor is given that means one way slab is given length is given as 2.5 meter span and live load is given as 5 kN per meter square width of support is 230 mm fck is 20 newton per mm square fy is 415 newton per mm square as our first step is to find out the trial depth and we know the formula as simply supported slab is given then we will consider d is equal to l upon 20 into modification factor or we can directly take as l upon 25 okay and this is our assumptions okay so we will take d is equal to l upon 25 l is 2500 mm upon 25 which is equal to 100 mm now we will assume effective cover of 20 mm therefore our overall depth will be 100 plus 20 which is equal to 120 mm now our second step is effective span and we know the effective span is the lesser value of center to center spacing or clear span plus effective depth so center to center spacing is equal to span plus width of support by 2 plus width of support by 2 Okay, so here the span is equal to 2.5 meter, width of support is 0.23 meter by 2 plus 0.23 meter by 2 which is equal to 2.73 meter. Second is clear span plus effective depth, clear span is 2.5 meter, effective depth we have calculated here that is 0.1 meter which is equal to 2.6 meter. So here we will take the lesser value and our effective span which is equal to 2.6 meter now our third step is to find out the loading so we will consider 1 meter width of slab okay so self weight of slab as we know that to find out the self weight or dead load of any member the formula will be volume into density so we are considering 1 meter width of slab here so V into capital D capital D is overall depth is 0.12 meter and density of concrete is 25 kN per meter cube which is equal to 3 kN per meter square and that is our self weight of slab live load is given in the problem itself that is 5 kN per meter square therefore our total load will be 5 plus 3 that is equal to 8 kN per meter square and the design load will be equal to total load into factor of safety that is 1.5 so 8 into 1.5 is equal to 12 kN per meter square. Now we will calculate factored moment. As simply supported slab is given, therefore moment is equal to WL square by 8, which is equal to 10.14 kN meter, or you can say that 10.14 into 10 is to 6 Newton mm. And the formula for shear force for simply supported slab is WL by 2. So W is 12, L is 2.5 upon 2 which is equal to 15 kN or 15,000 Newton. Now the most important step is area of tension steel that is AST and here is the formula AST is equal to 0.5 FCK upon FY in bracket 1 minus under root 1 minus 4.6 MU upon FCK into BD square into B into D. Okay. So here MU is 10.14 into 10 to 6 Newton mm 
B, we will take one meter of width, that which is equal to thousand mm. B is hundred. So after putting all the value, we will get area of tension steel is equal to three hundred mm square. Now here we will use eight mm diameter bar. Therefore, the spacing of bar as we are calculating per meter width, per meter spacing. Therefore, spacing is equal to thousand into area of one bar upon area of steel. That is area of one bar is equal to pi by four into eight square. Area of steel is three hundred mm square. Therefore, spacing of bar is equal to one sixty seven mm. So let us provide one sixty mm. Okay, but here is the criteria for spacing for area of tension steel, which is the calculated spacing or three D or three hundred mm, whichever is less. So here the lesser value is. 160 mm. Therefore, we will provide 8 mm diameter bar at 160 mm center to center. Now, our AST provided is equal to 1000 into pi by 4 upon AS upon spacing that is 160 mm. So, AST provided is 314 mm square. And now we will check that it satisfied the minimum criteria of steel that is minimum area of steel. So AST minimum is equal to 0.12 percent of gross area because HVST bars are given. Therefore, we will consider 0.12 percent of B into capital D. So 0.12 upon 100 into B into capital D, which is equal to 144 mm square, and it is less than our area of main steel. Therefore, okay. And now we we can provide 8 mm diameter bar at 160 mm center to center. Now, as we are providing the bent up bars here, and we are bending the bars in alternate fashion, therefore, uh, AST at the support is half of that of mid span, and bending the half bar at the length of 375 mm center to center, and from where we will get 375 mm. It has the criteria, the bending which should be equal to L by seven. So L is two thousand and six hundred mm upon seven, which is equal to three seventy one mm. So we'll round it up as three seventy five mm. Okay. So AST provided at the support because we are taking a half of the area of steel. So a total area of steel upon two. Total area of steel is three hundred and fourteen upon two, which is equal to one fifty seven mm square. Okay. Now next step is to find out the distribution steel, and we know the importance of distribution steel, and the formula is same as that of area of steel minimum. So for HVST bar, area of distribution steel is equal to 0.12 percent of gross cross sectional area, which is equal to 144 mm square. So here we will use 6 mm diameter bars. Therefore, spacing is equal to. Thousand into area of one bar upon area of steel, so which gives us the spacing of one ninety six point five mm. And here is the criteria for spacing for distribution steel is the calculated spacing or five D or four fifty mm, whichever is less. So here we are going to provide the lesser value. So here we will provide six mm diameter bar. At one ninety mm center to center, okay. Now our next step is check for shear. We know that in case of slab, we don't need shear reinforcement, but in problem, it is asked to check for shear. So here we are going to check for shear. Okay, we you we have calculated that is fifteen kilonewton nominal shear stress that is tau v is equal to v upon v into d. So nominal shear stress is equal to 0.15 newton per mm square. Similarly, area of support we have calculated, which is equal to 157 newton per mm square. Percentage of steel 100 AST upon BD, which is equal to 0.15 percent. So for PT percent is equal to 0.15 and M20 grade of concrete from table number 19 of IS 456 2000. Page number seventy three. We can find out the value of tau c. So value of tau c for M twenty grade of concrete 
and pt percent 0.15 here you can see that the value is 0.28 newton per mm square and from clause number 40.2.1.1 for the depth of 120 mm k is equal to 1.3 okay you can refer is code page number 72 now tau c for slab is equal to k into tau c and we know that tau c is 1.3 k is 0 0.28 therefore tau c for slab is equal to 0 0.36 newton per mm square which is greater than tau v value that is nominal shear stress therefore our section is safe against shear now our next check is check for deflection for that we have to find out the percentage of steel so pt is equal to 100 ast upon b into d here we will take ast as ast provided okay so ast provided is 314 mm square the pt percent is equal to 0.31 percent then we will find out the steel stresses okay that is fs which is equal to 0.58 into fy into ast required upon ast provided therefore fs is equal to 230 newton per mm square so from figure number 4 of is 456 2000 we can find out the modification factor here is the graph so here we will take the approximate value that is kt is equal to 1.55 okay now we will take l by d maximum ratio for simply supported slab it is 20 into k into kt and for cantilever slab it is uh, 7 into kt so here in problem itself it is given as simply supported slab therefore we are going to take 20 into kt kt is 1.55 so 20 into 1.55 is equal to 31 now we will take l by d provided l we have provided 2600 mm small d that is effective depth we are going to provide 100 mm which is equal to 26 and it is less than 31 that means l by d max is greater than l by d provided hence our section is safe against the deflection now our last step is to check for development length is 456 2000 recommends that mu1 upon v plus l0 value should be greater than the development length okay and mu1 we know the mu1 is it is the half of bending moment and bending moment is 10.14 into 10 is to 6 upon 2 which is equal to 5.06 into 10 is to 6 newton mm here we are not using any block therefore l0 is equal to 0 therefore vu value we have already calculated that is 15 kilo newton or we can say that 15,000 newton so mu1 upon vu plus l0 is equal to 338 mm now we will find out the development length ld which is equal to 0.87 fy into phi upon 4 into tau bd tau bd is 1.2 but we have to increase it by 60 percent for slab of for tau steel therefore it is tau bd is equal to 1.2 into 1.6 so ld value that is development length is equal to 376 mm and here after comparing we can say that mu1 plus M, mu1 upon v plus l0 is less than ld okay therefore codal requirements are not satisfied here therefore we are going to provide 90 degree bend at the center of support that's why for 90 degree bend l0 value will become 8 into 5 so 8 into 5 phi is 8 mm okay we are using 8 mm diameter bar so 8 into 8 is equal to 64 therefore m1 upon v plus l0 value will become 338 plus 64 which is equal to 402 mm and it is greater than development length and now our codal requirements are fully satisfied okay so here we have completed our design of one way slab Thank you.